Dazzy, did you get a fancy new haircut? I think you did. Do you like it? They gave you a mohawk. I got rid of that. You're just not a mohawk guy. You look so handsome. Hey everybody, thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi today. I hope you had a good, safe week, and thank you so much for your comments last week once again on when you made a decision and nobody around you agreed, but you stood your ground and it worked out. And your comments were so inspirational to me and they just lifted my heart, they lifted my spirit. I sure do think you're wonderful. Well, today, I know on my channel, it's been a little heavy lately with the, with the moving and talking about our lives. So I thought today we would just have a little bit of girly fun. I was approached by Magic Links and they said, would you like to collab with us on some of your favorite products for March? And I said, well, I was doing that anyway. You don't have to pay me. And they said, oh, no, we have to pay you. And I said, oh, that's fine. These are some things I buy off of HSN and some other department stores. And I thought, well, this is going to be fun because I've got some makeup and clothes and some wonderful things that I found for my skin. And I wanted to share these things with you anyway. admit this but I was watching TikTok and I was watching an older woman and she was putting her makeup on and she was using this product. This is the Skin Elixir Tightening Serum by Demetrius and you can get this off of HSN. Well I used to use a Manuka Honey Oil from this company that I loved but I don't know I just stopped ordering it and I, I guess because I use so many other oils. So I kind of forgot about Skin, the company. So I'm watching this woman on TikTok and she is tapping this in to her skin. And she's not claiming that it's like lifting her, although it did appear to be lifting her face. But what it was doing was it was like filling in her lines and she had like little lines here and I have those same lines like a little road map right there. So she was tapping it in and then voila, after her makeup, she looked flawless. Now I'm sure she's doing some of this with lighting. You know how they do. So I fell for it. I admit it. I ordered it. I got two for one. I love this company anyway. And I thought, well, I can always send it back if it's if it's not really any good. But it turned out to be wonderful and wonderful in a different way than what it was being marketed. I tried this, tap just a little bit, tapped it in all over my face and on my neck. I waited about 30 seconds, did not use a primer. I put my foundation on and I couldn't see the little patchwork. I couldn't see my lines. This had just plumped it up. I don't, I don't want to have a facelift and I don't, I don't want to do those lasers or whatever they have us do nowadays, but I can do this. And this not only gives us that temporary plumping and lifting, it's also good for our skin. It promotes collagen growth. So it was really, truly a win-win for me. This is kind of my new favorite product of the year right now. So I wanted to make sure that I mention it. And may I also say that I use another serum day and night. And it's this one right here by Algernest. 
and this is a collagen based serum from plants found in the ocean and this is red algae from the ocean so I'm thinking I'm not a scientist but I am thinking in all my years on earth it does seem that when something is coming from the ocean my skin loves it so I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep using products from the ocean. Yes, I am. <laughs>
and I couldn't tolerate it. And he didn't seem all that worried about it, so he put me on another one, and I couldn't tolerate that one either. So then I started researching, and I saw that this Callista Care was kind of an underground hit, and people were saying that it was lowering their cholesterol by taking this. You take one right before you eat your dinner or your lunch, you take two a day, and it lowers your cholesterol. And I thought, Really? Honestly? So I said to my doctor, okay, can you let me take this for 90 days? And then I'll come back and have my blood work done. And if it's still going up, up, up my cholesterol, then maybe we can talk about another statin. And he said, okay. <laughs> He's not mellow. Anyway, so I came back. My cholesterol was down, not a huge amount, but it was down to the point where I didn't need a statin. So I consider this my statin. And when you read the reviews on this, it's crazy good. If your doctor wants you on a statin, then I think you should be on your statin. You know, I'm borderline. So it was more of an option for me what I wanted to do. And I am thrilled with my results, but everybody is different. And I'm no doctor. I don't even know any doctors. I don't even know any YouTube doctors. Do I? Oh, I guess I do. I know uh, Dr. Dre. Kind of. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I think this is one of the most beautiful steamers I've ever owned. It's just gorgeous. It helps me with my furniture and my clothes, my plants. It's just beautiful, and it is going to make such a beautiful Mother's Day gift. So, thank you, HSN. This is called the Adrian Arpel Club A Meltdown, and this one is in vanilla. And the whole room now smells so beautiful. And of all the products that I buy off of HSN, this one is my favorite but it's also my sentimental favorite too. I never used any skincare. And when I started using Adrienne's Meltdown, I just remember that to be one of the happiest times in my life, moving into our new house and being so happily married with Billy. And But Adrienne put it in my head, I had to take care of my skin. And I didn't always do that, but at least she put it in my head. And all these years later, her Meltdown is the very best product I use to melt the makeup off my skin and the mascara and the eyeshadow. I love it. If you don't like scent, you wouldn't like her Meltdowns, but I like the lemon zest. And You know, Adrienne is 82 years old and she's still at it. She's still on HSN right now as I'm filming this. I'd love to meet her someday. You know, she was 16 years old and she went into department stores and she asked if they could teach her how to put makeup on. She wanted to feel pretty. And there wasn't anybody there to help her. It was like 1959. And she saved up her babysitting money. She saved up $600 when she was 18 years old. And she, she got a, a few little pamphlets together and models. And, and she set up shop to teach women how to look pretty, how to put on their makeup. She's just a wonderful gal from New Jersey, in love with her husband, Ronnie. People who have met her say that she is the most wonderful lady to know. So whenever I pick up one of Adrienne's meltdowns, it just brings back everything happy to me. And Adrienne is, a, is another woman. She made it. She, she not only made it in her field, she created her field of having you know makeovers in department stores. Yeah. Here's my meltdown. This is the very best meltdown you can have at night when you go to take off your makeup. Oh, Miss Adrian, I adore you and I always will. You taught me in 1988 that it's fun to be a woman and it's a challenge to take care of our skin.
filming like I am right now, your camera is on a tripod and that tripod has a little leveler and you try to get the bubble right in the middle so you know your camera is in the right spot. As I got older, I started to play things very safe. I wanted a no drama life, but I think I went too far. In having a, a no drama life, what I was doing was almost convincing myself I couldn't handle life. When I was a kid, my grandfather would let me play with anything except one thing, his collection of levelers. He had a whole wall in the basement dedicated to his levelers and they were from all over the world. He must have had maybe a hundred, maybe a little more, and they were beautiful. And they were hung from the ceiling to the floor. And I would sneak in there and I would take one down and I would take a look at the bubble and try to get it even. In looking back of all the things that my grandfather collected, why levelers? And he had a lot of drama in his life. And he died so young. And I often wonder if maybe he was trying to find that balance in life. I, I, I wonder if those lovelers represented to him his quest for finding just something that was on even ground where his feet could feel secure, like he was home. His home was Italy, but he was here in Grand Rapids. A little drama, sometimes a little imbalance, sometimes a surprise, sometimes a hunch, can pay such huge rewards in our lives. And I guess all I'm trying to say is to try to keep an open mind when we get over 65, I think we want peace. We want predictability. I did, and I do. But I want a little spice, too, and I'm going to be more open to that. Play it safe, and you can have a no-drama life. But life is messy, and... Life is full of drama and excitement and joy and uncertainty and adventure. I forgot that, but I remember it now. I'm not weak at all, but I thought I was, but I'm not. I don't need a leveler to tell me if my camera's straight. I can just see it with my own eyes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. And thank you so much HSN for making this possible today for me to collaborate with you and share with my gals all the fun stuff that you offer. Please, if you get a chance down below, could you share something that you did that maybe was a little bit of drama and that it worked out? I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Please have yourself a wonderful, happy, safe, brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, it's a deal. We'll be here for a little while longer. <laughs> and then we've been moving on up. <laughs> we love you.